did you start in the Eastern Cape or did you want to come to Joburg? Kabeli <laughs> Pass. You know, we know the whole thing, the trip. Then I landed at the park She. My story, I was never chased at home. Mm. I was never, I didn't come to this, Genzala. Mm. I didn't come to this to prove a point. Mm. This just loved me and I, I welcomed it. <laughs> yeah. As of Sankofa, and what a warm wa welcome we're getting from him. We should be giving him. A warm welcome. I omnis from Vula Loka, like a lot of my father, Tamanga, and Bezin to turn as in Funa Panzama Pelati, Luton Toms, and Telukis Nome and Banoma. I'm with a pianist, musician, super producer is what I like to call him, award winning in as far as his production is uh, concerned. Ladies and gentlemen, may we all please welcome Luanda Madope. Luanda, Mola, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a happy baby. You're a happy baby. I'm a happy baby. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm, I'm ready. Yes. I'm alive. <laughs> We're here um, to tell your story. Um, mm. Usually producers in their mm. nature are in the background. Mm. And I say, you know, you pull up the sleeve and you're able to see mm. who contributed mm. in such a project, mm. in that other project, you know, whether be it your expertise on the piano, be it your expertise within uh, productions. Mm. But this journey, I think, for you has spanned on for many years. Mm. And really, as producers, you are all, always overshadowed by the artist uh, mm. that uh, you, know, you lend your expertise uh, to. W when you take a look at that element, are you comfortable with it? Ooh, I'm, I'm very comfortable. <laughs> I'm happy there. Yes. I'm happy that because when I'm there, I get to learn mm. about these people that I'm producing. And also, I'm sensitive there because these people are pouring their hearts, yes. their inspirations, their journeys. And when I'm there, it's painful sometimes. Yeah. Because where they write these stories from, 
I haven't experienced some of the things. Mm. So for me, I have to tap in to find mm. the magic that this music, how do we want to tell the story of this artist? Yes. Because what normally happens, they come to me for, you know, sometimes I get artists, they don't know the direction they want to take. Yeah. Sometimes they know. But when, in, uh, when I engage with them, I realize that, well, the story you were telling me, you didn't go deep. Yeah. So, so you uh, take them deeper. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. let them plunge in. Yeah, yes. like, uh, so you, you were saying, this is the lyric you wrote on this song. Ah. Well, <laughs> why the choice of words like this, you know? And then they start going in. Mm. Then, and then you, you can, you, now it's, it's, it's the sound. I have to design the sound to uplift that. Because I always say to them, most of them, I said, at the end of the day, you need people to learn from this. Of course. You know, we, can't, we can't come and, and drop it there, the pain, without giving hope, mm. you know. Speak up of the pain, but hey, elevate it to another, you know what I mean? Right. Because I think when you are ready to speak about it, there's so much healing that has happened, mm. you know? So let's leave people. I'm, 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 I'm always saying to my people, I'm for the healing. The healing. I'm for the light, please. Yes. Once we work on this music, people must be healed. Yeah. Even you, as you sing it, you know, it must change you. It must change you somehow must, and uplift your spirit exactly. to a higher level. Exactly. We're going to get there in as far as your discography is concerned as well. I just want to take it back. Mm. You Eastern Cape Cats have just got something special in as far as your musicality is concerned. Uh, Fondini, um, it's almost like <clears throat> Eastern Cape, you guys are spoon fed this music <laughs> or you are breastfed from birth. And a lot of you really, and Zinze, Mkuluemi, really that environment makes for it somehow mm. where you grew up in Eastern Cape. Mm. Take us to your beginnings uh, back home. Sure. Um, my beginnings at home about music. Mm. I grew up um, the Kuelung Dao to a Beso Twin. Where I'm born is a Beso Twin, Kwaza Ke, like all forums. It's in Kabecha, you know. Um, it's, it's a small place. It's like a street, you know, like, like an island. I see. You, you know? Most people, when I say I'm from West Virginia, others, if you are still young, you're like, where? Where? You know? Mm. But it's down there by Zuide. I say Zuide. There's I a see. place called Soweto in PE. Mm. Soweto at sea. Okay. So my area, my hood is close to that. Is it called uh, Ebasutwini because uh, I guess Batetang uh, Abasut? Ebasut. Okay. Listen, back home and I'm not sure. Back home. Yeah. But in my area, it's one of the most uh, cultural, uh, diverse uh, um, areas. Yeah. Like in, you find in Shawelo, like in, in or Foslo. Yes. So between you, you've got a suit and a bit swan and a bit cost and some Zulus. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small as it is. It's small as, as it is. Yes. Like, like my, my, my best friend that I grew up is a Ziliga as a kid, is a Kumalo. Hmm. You know, Kosani Hans, next, just next to at home. Yeah. Is a, is, a, is, a, is a Zulu guy. My other friends, Abamuluzi, you know, uh, mm. Sutu people. So I grew up around that. So hence to Aksebe Sutuin. But <laughs> interesting, most of the people who are about to be in the suit, they are not in the suit. So, yeah, it's because it's, it's dominant, you know. Mm. But, um, but cultural exchanges, like in Kiti, I've experienced some kids who are in the suit, like, he must really, like when yes. they come from initiation. Yes. We've seen that, and then you've got the Kosa initiation. You see, we've got Naturally. that, so you see that, you know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I grew up in, in that environment. Ooh. Must uh, have been wonderful. And, and, and there was a spark because you are seeing mm. Sutu uh, traditional uh, mm. rituals taking place as a Bakosa mm. um, uh, naturally, but you're seeing Amapaka, how yeah. they do their thing as mm. well. Possibly mm. Amambondo. Oh, yeah. yes, oh, yes, mm. oh, yes. Mm. And, and so, so, so at home, me, the music, yes, you know, um, Mr. Mnis, mm. when I, I, I look, I reflect 
on, 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 on how the sound got to my ears, I realized that first you pick up the sound. You know, you pick up the sound before you are taught. Yeah. <laughs> Even from the womb. But now this is like an experience of me analytic, analyzing, you know. Yeah. Reflecting on my journey as a music. I'm like, oh, sometimes I couldn't go out, you know, maybe go Kitty next or in the other street. Or sometimes mm. I'm sleeping, then there's people who are singing. So you pick up the sounds. People are just singing around the area, you know, in the morning you know, in the evening and at home also the music is played. My uncle is my uncle is like uh, if if somebody trained me to be a producer, I gave it to my uncle. Ah, okay. Yeah. Records. Records. Sets. Yeah, yeah. Re okay. Records and and I'm the kid who messed up the vinyl at home. <laughs> I'm the one <laughs> oh, so I'm that I'm that kid. So, but my uncle, every morning he plays music before I go to school. Hmm. This guy was playing music. You know, when he come back from school, when he comes back from work, he's playing music. And the interesting part is, my uncle is a former boxer, professional boxer. Hmm. So when he's doing the punch back, sparring. <laughs> He's playing the music. He's playing the music. Wow. So the rhythm of him and the music is something that I'm like, oh, this thing was like incubation, this thing, mm. you know? <laughs> so I grew up around picking up that, but I was not paying attention to my musicality. At that time, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but what was Uncle playing, uh, Luanda? I'm interested to know. Was he playing jazz? Was he playing soul? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uncle is is heavy on on, on the soul. Yes. And 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 um, your 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 Donny Hathaways, your mm. Kaifa Semenyas. Oh yeah. Your oh my goodness, Aretha, mm. Aretha Franklin, uh, Mam Miriam. Once in a while, yes. was two is is two American music. Yeah, he was playing yeah, a lot of, you know, like a every lot of other. The soul from the stage. You, you know what I mean? Mm. In those eighties, you know, we were listening to more American music. Mm. So um, they will play that. But the the beauty of my upbringing, my parents' uh, homes are like eight houses apart. Okay. <laughs> so I'm this kid who grew up from my mother. It's this house, and then my father is that side. Right. So I'm that kid who's it's doing this. It's just that street. You're running. In the yes. street. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever they play that side. And sometimes when I go that side, they are playing some black mambazo. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> and then. When you get to this side, they're playing side. some soul R&B. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And also at this side of my mother, there's also a split of faith in terms of the faith. Yes. There's people, there's uh, my, my, my great, uh, great uh, father. Uh, Wilson Matop was the minister of ZCC. Oh. So they play Mpoho there at home. They play ZCC music. And then. Yeah, Matop. ZCC, Eastern Cape, Bafondi. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Ja, yes. Uh, you see, that's another. <laughs> my, 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 my grandfather was the minister of ZCC of the whole of the Eastern Cape and Western Cape. Right. Yeah, back in the 80s. That's very interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very interesting. And, but in the house, already in the house, there's ZCC and there's others who are going to Apostille. Apostille is where, when they sing, ah, wee, 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 yes. sing it. So uh, their concoction of music, that's what's happening in that home. Whew. Even when I go to the other side, yeah. Church of Christ, so it's all this mix of sounds, you know, mm. and also, being closer, you know, Kagunom Sebens, Gunen Tselo, Kuya Kikimbo, I experienced all of this. I'm that kid. So, my upbringing as a kid, I was all around this, you mm. know. But that time, I'm a soccer player. You're playing soccer? Yeah, yeah, I'm a. And how good are you? Very, I was very good. Because, I mean, at this mature age, you still look, uh, you know, decent, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that time, you know, so the music I was just absorbing, but my thing was the football. I was playing football. Like, okay. like, like mm. I played Chappie's Little League. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I was into that um, until uh, I used to run away from choirs. I didn't like. I was going to ask you that, but you know, it somehow was a big part of 
your upbringing and your youth. Mm. Uh, did you engage in it, uh, choir-wise? Were you that kid at the front, uh, you know, starting a song? <laughs> <laughs> if anything. Uh, I engaged quite uh, 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 a bit mm. because um, oh, um, 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 Right. So what did I on pa? What when I go on my post So then you know who put it or my povan. My povan is is a big brother to my grandfather. Mm. So Wilson, apparently Wilson is the one of that CC and then Omi Unzimin. Okay. Yeah. So I'm your one the postil. So I'm quite a clown de la paramatop. I'm the postil. So I'm going to have a bagam quite by Abanae a postil. Abaye by a ZCC. Yeah, so these are churches of my family, mm. you know. So because I am tied with Mamquat, I've, I've went more postil, yeah. you know. Naturally. You know, she's your everything, she's your yeah, G. Yeah, yeah, postile and G. Yeah, so I said, good practice, good practice, and I'm a postile and I practice, you know, the very musical, you know, the staff notation, of course. So I go with Mamquat, the Amana Mamquat, it's like a cool, like a priest, the Benzing Goma. I'm just chilling, you know, again, also, maybe I was taking this thing in, yeah, but not aware, mm. you know. ZCC, I can't, I don't remember going to ZCC. Mm. I, you maybe don't really my, have a reference of it. Uh, my mother, my mother goes to ZCC. I don't have much reference. Maybe they, they take me when I was a baby, but mm. as, as, as a kid, it was, mm. I was always with Mamkwat to a point where even, I even stopped even going with Mamkwat, you know, because sometimes I'm like, hey, it's our man, hey. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and the funny part is, I don't really Paul. Yeah. We pass it out on my postile. There's a place called the Tonjin. Okay. In in Sweden. Mm. So when you pass there, you go to the stadium, Sweden Stadium, you go to the Celtic Stadium. So sometimes I wake up in the morning, mm. I help my Mgwati, we take the very uh, fruits because my Mgwati used to sell like. Oh. Uh, Fruit and veg. Fruits and, and, and ginger beer and ah, hops. Okay. Oh, I see. So I'll drop it and then I go and play football. When we finish football, I pick it up. Land one got like like oh, hectic. Man. So I'm I'm that kid, that's from my mom's side. Mm. On my father's side, my grandmother is Nofundile. Okay. Nofundile is my G also. <laughs> you know? But now the, the, the design are different, you know. No fundil is, you live in a camelite, no fundil, you know. Mm. With Sally's Martin, <laughs> she's always on reading. She's and only Bible. Bible, newspaper, books. Anything. Yeah, yeah, she's no fundil. No, no fundil. No fundil. Yeah. There's a song like, there's, there's a song on no fundil I wrote. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I wrote that for Nofundil. Dedication to Nofundil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Also, I have one from Mamkwat. You know, oh, yeah? So on my upcoming record. Yeah. So, 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 no, 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 I'm, I'm, it's, it's more like I'm chilling with, she doesn't talk much. Mm. It's, it's laughter, you know, and she's looking after the business because in the 80s, they, at, at home, they used to have a, Charges a battery. You see, now now we have a struggle with the load shedding. Right. Back in the day, people didn't have electricity, but they had electricity at home. And you the know. batteries were being charged. Charged yes, there. there. You could watch your TV and exactly. All of that, yeah. So she used to run that business hmm. and sit there, you know. So the business side, I used to watch. Oh, writing the the addresses. You know, when you come, who's a charge a battery? Yeah. Must take your address. Right. You know. Okay, you come at six o'clock. You know. Right. So I grew up around those women, you know, mm. their, their, their guidance. Beautiful. Mamkwati and Unofundi Long Mamguif. Unofundi Long Mamguif. And then when do you pick up this here instrument that sits uh, 
before us. <laughs> um, I just want to fast track now yeah. up um, to your interaction now mm. physically uh, mm. with, uh, with music. You engaging, Engok, ne? It is something interesting now, I must say. Before ah. I, I just to, just to give it a back. Go ahead. So my mom, my mom born Senda when she got married. Yeah. She uh, and then she went to stay at this place. Talks a says still was a kid at this okay. place. Okay. So she was renting there before she moved to her house in mm. Motherwell. Mm. So I used to go there. I think I was at higher primary then. I used to go and visit her. Mm. But when I get there, there is this thing that he kissed up a glint. You know, I think I was 11, 12 then. Oh, how young I went, but he kissed. He was young and he was 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 kissed. Yes. Hey. So when the man, I called my mother Poyaya. So Poyaya, you know only, at a high piano, you know? So, Every time I, I visit, I sit, I look at this thing. Hmm. You know, I open it, this thing, you know. Mm. But that memory is, it didn't pay attention okay. even to, to that. Okay. But what happened with the singing? I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to go to the piano, how I, I, I jumped on it. So it's almost like Ubone in Nombi, but you, you, yeah. you know, none of you had the, yeah, 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 yeah. the interaction to yeah, yeah. say, I'm an actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm but... Never paid attention ah. until it's you know, a Because a friend of mine, Tangolo Digo, I used to play football with, says to me, he could not join the choir when I play Arian. He not join the choir. Kunya groups get up here in is a gospel, mm. cultural groups, is a book, I have. Ushas and Zalana have football. Mm. So now, class Tula must go football before the game, said Tula. Mm. You know, it's so unbearable. Yes, yes. <laughs> but he's always checking, he's like, ah, you, you sing better than us. How? La Sabelingoma, you know? Ah. You know? And I used to go to Emmy Kitin, Kotul Emmy Kitin, I'll hold the corner, you know, just. Hold my harmony. Yes. But you know, I don't pay attention. And you don't even I'm modest. It. There's a modest yeah, thing. Yeah, but you someone know? is looking yeah. and saying, I'm man. Yeah. Call, no, call. So I said, okay, let's see. I'm going there because I'm <laughs> a teenager, you know. I'm a teenager. Yeah, so so you know, I'm like, oh, how are we going? But now we start this thing. I'm like, hey, they say, hey, you are too low Which part do you want to sing? I'm like, okay, I don't know. You tell me to a tenor, you know, or go and mm. tenor, hold you my go. parts. Nice. Because my aunts, they've been singing in front of me, you know, they've done practices, or oh, 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 Linda, no, she's no, but they've done this, mm. you know? So I would sing, but never paid attention. But now this one is putting me, because I've been running away from school choirs, I never wanted to be involved, okay. you know? It wasn't cool enough, I guess, yeah, yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're cooler playing football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. there, even with my football, I'm one of those at one point when I was growing up. I, I like being turned by the corner you know, mm. and check what's going on. But in Laban, you know, mm. just check the vibes, you know. I think I was, I don't know, maybe the political, maybe I was being trained. Right. I had to check. Right. Like I like even studying people now. I, oh, I can chill. I talk too much, but once I'm... I'm then you're analyzing now. Yeah, yeah, Proper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, one, I'm one of those. So I joined this group. I, I think it was called Sinetemba, that group. I see at Zona, not Angola. But now they are not serious. And there's another group here mm. around the area also. I'm like, hey, these ones. Mm. Because my, my, my discipline from football, it comes through even with my music. Okay. So you, 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 you want a situation where when they say there's a pre choir practice, uh, yeah. it starts on time. Exactly. And you know what you're yeah. doing. You exactly. know, till knock off, yeah. 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 So now this one's a high. <coughs> I, I, you recruit with other group. Nine born, nine, 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 n
see a vibe. I know, no, it's things of boys. <laughs> 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 hey, I joined, I joined Sia Pambian. Oh, the bug now that Sia Pambian. Oh, pfft. yes. Hey, it claps me. I am into this now. I'm into <laughs> this. Matula, no, matula. Sia Pambian, Sia Pambian used to sing gospel and, and some, you know, Ingomas on Poroho sometimes, you know, Yabongomas on Kitty, we fuse that. Mm. Very cultural aware and faith aware, you know, so we fuse that, you together, know. Together, yeah. We fuse that together. Because what we would do, our group, if somebody, like, Poroho, then we go to another site. Maybe we see we were or Ranyakon. They say, ah, it's a family of women, and it's a figure of a family. It's too late, you know, because I was changing the repertoire, you know what I mean? Mm. And, and, you know, so stuff like that. So we, we're flexible. I am into this, and we go, we once went to Mkhlobonen for a recording. Yeah. We recorded in Mkhlobonen, and uh, we'll sing in Kostin. Kostin is a, is, a, is a place, like you see, if you go to Bri here, yes. we'll go to Kostin, like we bask right. with this group. Right. I'm already in high school now, you know. I, this music is clapping me. That's all I'm thinking about is music. And my football, I had already had an injury, so okay. now I was... You're not attending as much as you should. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. and the politics of football, you yes. know. So, see a and then I got recruited by uh, another group called Christian Voices. Mm. Yes, it's sweet. Okay. So when I get to Christian Voices, mm -hmm. amazing. One of the guys who unlocked me. Ooh. Yeah, it's one of the guys who unlocked me musically. Okay, Vugile Gold. Vugile Gold. Vugile Gold. Okay. One day I'll introduce you to him. Ah. He's, he's, he's something he's else. something else. Yeah, he's no, something else. No, no, I can see the sparkle in your eyes <laughs> yeah. when, you, when you talk about him. Right? Yeah. Yes. So I meet Vugile Gold. Band recruit of Gulet Gold, but I am an Utulagaman. They used to visit me at home, these guys. From a sweet, a bang with Tel Enlin, Enlin Bazi Walaban. I'm like, what is it about me? These guys from another area, they come and, you know, mm. check me out. These guys visit me in Abo, my late friend Patrick, uh, Patrick Jack, Melumzi Jack, he, he passed, he passed okay. on. Vugile and Patrick, oh, and gone on. Both pianists? Yeah, they, okay. were, they, they were keyboard players. Okay. They were keyboards. Vugile, the guys, the first guys I saw programming, they were programming, Vugile and, and Pat, like, this was like in the early 90s, they were already programming in front of me. I was like, hey, these guys, you know, top, top guys. If you're from PE, the muse, they know them, but that was why, is those guys. Yes, yes. Abo, Abo, Weyla, Oh, one day there's a guy who used to produce mm. hit songs. I think he produced, um, what's the lady, Kumalo lady. But we'll, we'll remember one day. Okay. So uh, these guys used to visit me a lot. And my high school was in Ezuite, uh, Eloiso High School. Mm. I used to even get the slides on the school because the back now of music. Oh, to you, Tan. Jonga. <laughs> 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 No, no, the bug had caught you. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, the bug had caught you, Leand. You know? So if in figure school and sometimes I attend and attend and attend, get break, Melums in the Amchega because Melums be senior go to school. We are Ambia Kotuga, we are Okwabo, I'm Nandam Landel because we're piano power. But I'm not into it yet. Yeah. You know, but I'm like, then my singing was working. And then I, uh, one day I said to them, hey, Jens, you know, into a harmony, man, the funny vara clear away, go and deceive us in your way. So, not a funny and fundal away. The chogu boy, but yeah, no, it was it was drawing you in, yeah. I guess. It was drawing you in you know? slowly but surely. So, that's 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 how the piano that's how the piano to me is from Daibone Mendu in Gamama, and mm. then I met people who plays it, and also because of the things I was hearing, yes, the things I hear that amen. It's not enough what I'm hearing. Yes. I, I can't articulate these things I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah. You know? Maybe the piano, if I play the can piano, I can stretch. Yeah. You know? So, 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 so now who helps you on this yearning that you have all of a sudden for the piano? Mr. Mr. Claude, possibly? Yeah, 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 yeah. To say, okay, let me take you through, John. 
You, you know what they did about Fugile? They would just play. Mm. Because of Fugile and Abo, you know, they, they, they have an understanding because it's talent, but now to articulate it sometimes, what you're doing and, you know, there was a limitation of some sort, but they did a, 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 a serious foundation that of what is this, what is that, what is that. But that I was not playing, they were just telling me, you know, until a point where I've decided that I'm going to study music. Mm. When I decided that I'm going to study music, and then I told my mom, would, hey, or we join, I joined another group, the last group now after uh, this one. We formed this group called Friends Forever. So that's group number three? Group number four now. Four. Yeah, <laughs> group <laughs> number four. That was so neat. Friends Forever is, we want to put uh, cream. Uh -huh. So we put this group. Melums is Czech, the late Melums was there. Uh -huh. And then we had the uh, ladies from Etina Chaktuangabo for Sosa. Abo Mimi, you know, no no me, so no bonus. Then we had Lois Opala. Oh. On Tena. We had um, Noza. Yeah. Noza. Some of the guys now Noza he works is a is a TV producer that you know mm. you know, they do this, you know. Loiso and um, Ayanda Funani, Sly, um fundis, um okay. fundis Ayanda, you know. Okay. So we formed this group, Nabo Nose, Nono Stembele. We formed Friends Forever. It's quite big. The yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, it, like cream. Mm, like, yeah, we, we. Top notch. Yeah, top notch. There's a place called a fellowship in PE. We used to go, like, all the churches, young people would meet in New Brighton. So we go there, and the groups are singing. You know? You're competing or it's just a no, no, social it's Social, thing. social, yeah. social. Di from different churches. Ah. That was the beauty, you know, back, back then, you know. From different denominations, we'll meet there. It's about music and, and praise, you know, and worship. Mm. Then you realize that we meet different talents. That's where Asanda Bam had saw me. I saw Asanda Bam there before I even produced it. They used to come and listen to us there. <laughs> wow. Another person who grew up in my street that I didn't mention is, is Putuma, you know Putuma Tiso? She, 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 she's lanky in, yeah. in stature. Is my girl from my street. Ooh. She used to sing up the street. Right. She's on my upcoming record, that's why I'm, I'm mentioning her. You're featuring her. Yeah, yeah, yes. because I said to her, this song I'm doing, you should know this song. And because also, we did it back then. And also, you're from my street. You know, if I have to tell my street now, my story, you're one of the voices that needs to be. You, you, you'll oh, hear that's it. That's wonderful. So, yeah, that's, that, that's how I, I got to the piano because I was like, I need to extend mm. my, my articulation of what I'm right. hearing. Yeah. Now, pro professionally, sort of now heading out to go and study this mm. thing, this music, did you start in the Eastern Cape or did you want to come to Joburg? Kabeli Pass, <laughs> you know, we know the whole thing, the trip. Then I landed at Pakistashi, Gingasim too. <laughs> How's your story? My story, oh, my story. I always say this, uh, 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 you know, we, everybody tell their story. My story about music was all about love. Mm. My story, I was never chased at home. Mm. I was never... I didn't come to this, mm. I didn't come to this to prove a point. Mm. This just loved me and I, I welcomed it. Mm. I'm saying this to say this. When my, mother, my mother, when she was going through her stuff in, yes. in the marriage, she left PE and come in and stay in Johannesburg yeah. to work, to you work. know, left and, and you know. Mm. So I was there in PE, and I already told her, you know, that I want to study music, you know. With the help of Vugile, Vugile already told me, go to the school, FUBA School of Music, FUBA. So there's a school in Johannesburg like this. So Vugile hooked me up, like, you know, because Vugile was here in Joburg now. Right. Ahead. So by the time you made that trip, you already knew Yes. Where you are going to go, how you are going to go yes. about yes. setting your, your, your things together. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because already now my ears are already, I'm reading about producers. Because of the music now that has been played at home, I'm very inquisitive of what's happening. Who's who? 
you know, who's this producer, who's the singer? You know what I mean? That, because that is the knowledge that is very important. You're like, oh, this person is more like me. When you listen to their stories, you're like, oh, okay, it makes sense when mm. they tell their story. Yeah, well, I thought you Exactly. Fuba, <laughs> the Funda Center. Oh, yes. Me. Oh, yeah. Doggy House. Yes, yes. Doggy see, House. Yes, see, yes. Yeah. Just two powerhouses. Exactly. You know, that have developed what we're seeing now. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Doggy House, uh, further before. on. I yeah, guess. Further, yes. yeah, further. Yes. Yeah. Further on before. Yeah. But, you know, this Fuba and this Funda Center yeah, 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 are yeah. instrumental Hectic. In, in almost churning out the likes of you and yeah. many others. Exactly. So, 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 how big about. Yo! <laughs> so, so, so I moved to Joburg 1998. Yeah. 1998 for, for, for auditions. I come to Johannesburg. Mm. My mother picks me up uh, uh, in Park Station. My mother now, she stays in Alexander. Okay, Alex. Yeah, 14. Mm. So, Iman Fia, Alex, I, the, the, the design of Alex blows my mind now. From where I come from, I'm like, it don't design. The design now, I'm like, <laughs> hey, I look, I'm like, hey, hey I'm coming to Johannesburg, but now what's happening this here? It's PTP. It's PTP, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. You, you know, you see it, you see it on TV. Mm. TV edits, you know what I mean? But when you, when you, when you are there. In it now. Listen. Hey, the John only eating it. Hey, what's up? <laughs> you know, because, you know, I'm checking where she, she was and, you know, mm. I'm like, okay, why, yes. okay, Miguel is on her journey. I'm on my, I'm on my journey here. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. It's my mother anyway. Yes. I would chill with my mom. Then I went for auditions at FUBA mm. that year and then I, I got the space. And then I had months now to navigate Johannesburg because I'm going to start in 99, mm. you know, navigate. So I used to go in Pretoria, me and Lois would go at TN, was it was TNT? Yes, yes, those, yes. Yeah, yes, TNT because Nonele, days, Nonele yeah. was studying there. At TNT. So yeah. you, there was a choir that used to say, hey guys, come and visit, you know. So I started, you know, started, mm. you know, hanging around because Lois was at St. Cynthia's, something. Was the, doing his, yeah, they were at St. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. So we would meet up, you know, hang, you know, meet other people because there were people, those are the people I knew in Johannesburg. Mm. Or call Abu Vugile, hey, chance, I go and visit Abu Vugile. Oh. Funny, Vugile was working with Zola. At the time? Zola. Mm. Before, Zola 7. Yeah, Zola 7, before the, the, yeah, he was programming stuff with Zola, oh. this Vugile guy. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's hectic. Mm. He's, okay. he's very hip. And he produces a maskande. Is, is on another level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. Is too hip. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So, and then 99, I went to, I started at FUBA. At FUBA. Now, FUBA, Mr. Mnisi, hey, FUBA, when I landed at FUBA, you walk at FUBA, you see Moses Mleleko. You're going to school, you see Moses Mleleko. Hmm. He's got an office there. You walk at FUBA, there's Timam Keys upstairs. Mm. He's got a studio. It's studio there. This, that's FUBA. Oof. The environment. So you see these people, and then you're like, hey, what's happening? Yes. It's in and out. And because you had said, ba, you started doing your research about exactly. who's who. And exactly. So you knew. Yeah. How good to time and Moses, yeah. yeah. In that room. <laughs> and then in my class, the people who were in my class, Lindy Wamakolo, you know Lindy Wamakolo? Yes, yes. She was my yes, senior yes, at FUBA. Those yes. are the people I found Beautiful at FUBA. Beautiful vocalist. Yes. Lindy Wamakolo. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, Abo Frank, Frank, they used to play with Abo Malaika, some of the guys. Right. And you, mind you, at FUBA, you have the music department, you have the drama department, you have a fine art. Okay. Yeah. So Abo Napo. Mashia. Yeah, yes. she's at the drama. So the this writer, is the poet, yes. So that's my crew oh of man. FUBA. What that's, a beautiful environment. That's, that was what's happening at FUBA. Abo Poshia, Abo Nombuso Shabalala. Some of the guys, my late friend Sanka Diamond was, was a guitarist, mm -hmm. you know. Those are the guys, Abo Ahmad, I met Ahmad, uh, Abo Tabiso. Also, mm -hmm. now, when I get to FUBA, I'm still a boy who goes to church, and then I meet other kids who are going to, now, with different churches, different faiths. Yes. 
So it's that, yeah. you know? But we're like, hey man, we do music, you know what I it's mean? It's music, we, yeah. We, we hear, you know? So that was the part that was happening at FUBA. And, and my lectures, Obo Mr. Mahalani, Jeff Mapai, mm. uh, Gregory Pinto, Osis Aida, and later Mnedi Cooper mm -hmm. joined, became my piano lecturer mm. the second year. Judith Sipuma was there, teaching voice. Teaching voice, yeah. Gloria Posmani was there, the late Gloria Sp oh, Posmani was there, you know. So, oh, and uh, what's her name, Michelle? The singer, she's a singer, she's an actress also. I think she mm -hmm. was on one of the Scandal or something, the lady, Michelle. Okay, one of teach, those series, yeah. yeah. She used to teach piano. piano. She was, a, yeah. So those are the people at FUBA, I'm around those people. Hey man, what a conducive environment. It didn't be Zema and Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo, Lord. Yo. FUBA, for me, FUBA, I'm, I, I always say, if I have to talk about the story of FUBA, I have to carry it. I'm, I'm that kid who's ready to, because mm. our years were the last part. It's like, you know, it was dying down in mm. terms of, you know, being effective. Yes. You know, because I think after us, I don't know much how many other kids, you know. Yeah, you guys, I think, were the last sort of generation because that, that it turned out, mm. you know, significantly so. Because I think after you guys, then it started, I don't know whether it was a funding problem, yeah. whatever the case was, yeah. But you see, the other kids who came after me, is the Kwani experience, ah, Kwani. Is, is some of the, when they began, yes. Kwani, the group, mm. it's, it's the guys who were, were doing my, uh, like, when I was doing my second year, they were first years. They were first years, years coming in. You know, about Akon and about Bongani. Yeah. All these guys were, about Matite, you know. Yeah. But they changed yeah, as, as Kwani grows. But I saw that also, mm. you know. So, yeah, man. Oh, my goodness. You would see at FUBA, Silailo Silota is one of the people who knocked in my class. I was rehearsing at room two. There's a room I used to practice at, okay. room two. He, he knocked there. Yes. And then he, he looks at it. He's like, I'm going to play with you. <laughs> if I'm practicing, I'm practicing, maybe. Maybe I'm doing stuff, you know. Because just... And he's hearing this from the passage. Hearing. Yes. Okay, this guy. I'm just playing around. Yes, you know? yes, yes. And then he comes. It's like, hey. So painted faces and the cry and the smile, those albums are released in front of me. I've seen these artists before those albums were released. Mm. Yeah, what a good position to be in. And just be inspired, I think, uh, more than anything, mm. you know. And then now just delving deep into production uh, because you are award winning. Yes. I mean, yes. as I mentioned at uh, the top end yeah. as I was introducing you. Um, something must have drawn you to that. I don't know whether it was these interactions, Nabo Braslai, Elosilota, and you figured, you know, uh, you were in tune with the, the making thereof mm. of mm. these uh, beautiful projects that were unfolding. Um, there must have been something that said, okay, this is my forte. Yes, mm. you know, I'm nimble with the piano now, uh, you know, uh, but do I want to be the pianist on stage mm. or do I want to... Uh, now have the opportunity to produce others and lend my skill to mm. to a, another section. Mm. Yeah, Pro producing, uh, like like I said, b because of the design I had, you know, strategy of myself in in the industry, you know, why I'm here and all of this. And at Fuba, they have a music business. We used to have a music business. As a subject. As a subject. Mm. Where they tell us, you know, even our lectures, it was always emphasized that in music, there's other avenues in music. You, you, you can play, you can sing, you can write, you can produce, you can, you know, all of, all of this. Mm. These, 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 these um, avenues are there for, for you to explore. Yeah. And mind you, because I'm a singer, I even muted my voice. Mm. When I go to Fuba, why because, because I wanted to focus on, on 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 this on this, but what happens is as I engage with people, 
it starts like with arranging. One, one incident is after I finished FUBA, I went to, I got a, a, a invitation for an audition to go and, uh, and study in Denmark. Okay. You know, so we had to go for auditions for this in Deben. So I went to Deben. Mm. You know, in Deben, must figure Deben, uh, they, um, the teachers were Pramakoy and, Vos and, and, and Vosukumal and the other guy from Denmark. Vosukumal or the drama? Yes. Yeah. Uh, his, his name is Lass. I think it's, it's Lass. He's it's, it's a Danish guy. Okay. So we are in groups, you know. Mm. Uh, so I mean, it's me on piano. Some of the guy who was there was Tlale Machene. <laughs> was one of the guys oh, yeah. I was in the group with. Yeah, you know? percussionist. Yeah. Yes. I was Tlale Machene and Paul and Tukulu Homokezi and other, you know. These are the guys I know from. Okay, I know Tukulu because he was at East Side. Eastside College. Eastside College. Yeah. Uh, Tlale was at Fundasan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we go there. Hey. We get workshopped by Bramakoy first. I we do workshops. So every student must come with a song. Hmm. You know, every student. Now, what happens? Every student, they don't play piano. They want their songs. You know, they say, hey, bra. You know, I've got an idea, like, Tlalek is the first one. There's a song of Tlalek, called Enlightened Asc Enlightened something on his first album. Ascension of the Enlightened. And yes. <laughs> yeah. He, he started, he came with that song. Yes. So he ran with me, I helped him with that song. Right. That's one song we started. Oh, boom, that album. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, he, he that album in its totality is just something to behold. So we work on Tlalek. He was here, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he so, was on House of Sun. So we are on the line. <laughs> yes. So uh, I started with Tlali's song. Mm. So everybody now comes to me with their ideas, you know, with ideas. So Pramakoy is checking me. Mm. Hey. You know? He learned one. Yeah, he's checking, you know, everybody. And then it became my turn to, to do my song. Yes. You know? So this is where I did, uh, uh, you know that song called Itamakul Fumil? So I this I did this. This then, was what, what, what year was this, uh, this Leon? Is, this is 2000 and... <laughs> this is 2000 and... That's just such a strong song. This, this is 2002. Ooh. 2001, 2002, yeah. That is this. just such a strong song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So we are here, we cool. No, 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 Then from McCoy, it's like, hey, and then we put the horns, da, 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 you know? Mm. And then the, the, the audition, you know, and the results came. So I was not selected to go to Denmark. To go to Denmark. You know? Tlale was the one who was living, and Paul. Mm. Paul was a trombonist. Okay. She's, she's a trombone player. Mm. And then from McCoy comes on the side. He's like, ah, 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 ah. My man, I'm trying. Hey! This is Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I got to work with uh, uh, Bramakoy. And not just get to work with Bramakoy, you got to produce oh, the yeah. great McCoy Mkhobat. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. As in, you know, on the sleeve, <laughs> yeah. producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Luyanda yeah. Matop. Matop. Yeah. I started as an arranger with Bramakoy. Yes. See, from playing with him, I started as an arranger. And, and the funny part is, you know what happened? My late friend Moses Kumal, mm. When we were recording Pramakoy's album, mm. that's when he began to know about my writing. But we were playing together in, in his band. Mm. Then he's like, hey, Tlego, you were not But yes. you didn't tell. I'm uh, like, Moses. you know what I mean? Because these things, they peel off from us, right. these, these gifts, and they grow, you know? You, you know? So Pramakoy found me in, the, in that state. Mm. 
And then after Pramakoy, I've worked with Pramakoy, I've already met Lawrence Machiza. Yes. Yeah. Super, super. <laughs> Oof. Lawrence Machiza, I met him in Newtown. I'm going to this producing thing. I met him in Newtown. They were playing a gig with uh, 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 the late Victor Dun. Mm. So I go to him because I've, I've, I've listened to his stuff with Ringo, Matlingos, and, and uh, all of that. Mm. So I go to him. I say, hey, hey, go and put. Mm. Hey, the grand boy, you know. Take a wipe him, wipe him, China. Yeah. Hey, the time was a pie. At your good thing, do you want to say that? You know, do you want to say that? I said that. You know? Yes. But Lawrence is the first guy who gave me a music stand. My music stand, I got it from, from Machiza. May his soul rest in peace. Oh, may his soul rest in peace indeed. You know. So he, he just managed to, yeah. you know, embrace you he, in the most beautiful way. Like, and naturally so. Naturally. Yeah. That's why, uh, 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 like, when I, that is, when I say, you know, my love for this just directed me to the people yeah. that loved me. And that needed to take you a step e up. Exactly. Yes. Because my journey, like how I met even Andy Leonana, I heard him play. And then when I went back to school, I told my lecture. I said, I hear a piano player in South Africa that inspires me now. I would love to meet this pianist. Then my lecture is like, who is that? I'm like, it's Andy Leonana. Andy Leonana. It's like, where did you see him? I'm like, he was playing there with Andy Narel at Zoo Lake. And it blew your mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. So in terms of the sound, I'm, I'm, the sound of, I'm very selective of what... <sighs> Tembisa, my, my, my people, I, oh. I hear it in my head sometimes. I'm driving, I'm listening to something in the car, but then Angen, mm. stay in, in my head, Tembisa. And I start humming, you know? I start humming. <laughs> so, 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 Lamachi, Lamachrodmanda, Lamachrodman, they really, in, in others, they are not aware until when I tell them, good, you know, when I was coming up, I used to sit next to you, you know, just check. Like one story um, where I was, when I visited Yenana, when Mr. Cooper, Mr. Cooper took me to Yenana, mm -hmm. do you know who I found there in their flat? I found Hebitwael, he was cooking. I found Andy Leonana, I found Tanja Makakul, like in one room. In one room. And then they said to me, just play some chord, man. Play one chord or two chords, you know? Mm. And then I, well, I start playing. I hear the pianist this side and the piano player this side. Mm. So there's three piano players. They are playing with me. I, I don't oh, so know. So you start playing and then someone comes on that other side. Yeah. Someone is there on that other side and wow. It's like a baptism of three piano me, players. Me, me, me. Artistic paradise. <laughs> you, <laughs> I call it, right? <laughs> you know? Yes. So, so when I look at this, I'm like, oh my God, my life. Mm. You know? It's a, a blessing. Heavy. I mean, who gets to do that? Heavy. With all of these greats heavy. in one room. Heavy. Om you are pegu sem bizen paya. Tasting yana. Kanditim chow. Panditim chow. At the end. You know? Yes. So that has been my. Driving force. Driving force, you know, because of also I'm, I'm, I'm inquisitive. Mm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very, you know, my energy, uh, pff, you know, I'm mm. like a no baby. No kavil. You know, no, I'm like a, I'm like a baby. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, so I'm like a baby. If, if sometimes most other people are like, hey, no, 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 And sometimes, you know, when people say kavil, others, it can mm. make them, mm. me, I, I don't mm. mind. I'm like, yeah, 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 of course. Oh, hello. Yeah. I've been given this even at home. Yes. Like, oh, Arthur. At yes. home, they call me Arthur. Arthur. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Yes. So, producing, I'm very reading, I'm already reading. I've always loved Quincy. Mm. So, it's been back of my mind. Back of your mind, you know? anyway. You know, even the time I was in a, a Sutuin, like initiation school, initiation, I've yeah. decided I'm going to study music. I was listening to about Queens. It wasn't Bambi the Radio. I'm a Queens in it. Hey, the way, eh? Um, the law? Hey, that's why. Something. Like, uh, you know that album of uh, Tamiya? I got a real thing. Go, yeah, go ahead. Yes. Da, 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 Produced da, da, by Quincy, yes. You used to 
The arrangement of that song ooh, used to hit me. You know, that's our Sunday staple on uh, most radio stations. Exactly. You know what I mean? You see? <laughs> that kind of stuff. So I was right? listening to that in the those 90s, eh? 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 90s. I'm listening to this, I'm like, hmm, this. So the ear for producing is there. Mm. You know, because in the bands that I'm, because producers are directors. Yeah. You know? You give direction. Yeah. To yeah. what I possibly as an artist will come to you and say, Eman Mamela Luanda, uh, I want to do A, B, C, D. And yeah. then somehow you conceptualize this and give me somehow direction, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So I've started that from arranging for the band, arranging band, band, band leading, oh, this music, guys, let's do this song, put a repertoire together and, and all of that. Yeah. You know? So I was building it. Then I used, to, I used to go to Europe for theatre stuff. Mm -hmm. Then I was like quiet. You know, musicals. In the yeah, musicals, mm. you know, quiet in the scene. I was like uh, traveling, traveling. Mm. But whilst I'm traveling, I'm like, hey man, I need to branch to another uh, avenue, you know, of mm. my forte, you know. <laughs> when I came back, Lawrence Machisa calls me. He says to me, hey, there's this girl, man. I want you to work with me with this girl. You know, I said, who's that now? Because it already, I've already played with them some Dondo music. Ah. You know, they play, I've already played Dondo music. They see me, you know, yes. live on stage, check. Because, you know, a producer, it's like you research. I research your thinking, how you design, your, you know. Yeah. As a player, I'm like, right. oh, this guy, he's got a nice tone, you know what And I mean? by the time we connect, you've got an idea, uh, actually. Exactly, ah, exactly. Okay. That's why I'm one of those producers, when I call someone, I call <laughs> you for the reason. I don't fluff yeah. about it, or the decision. You know. I know, mm. you know what I mean? Also, you know, check the, the works of the guy, I'm like, okay, you know. It's like a scouting, it's the same mentality of football, yeah. you know? You know, I Ocho use Mason. that. Yeah, I use that mentality. <laughs> <laughs> scouter, yeah. yeah. So, but Machiza says, hey, it's Pogas. So, Ubuntu Bam, the album of Pogas, the first album of Pogas. Mm -hmm. But Lawrence calls me now. This is before she went to Native Rhythms. Before she even signed with Native Rhythms. With Native, Rhythms. yes. Yeah. Okay, when she signed with Native. When she signed, that, yeah. run about, yeah, yeah that time. Yeah. yeah. But Lawrence calls me for this, like, hey, come and work with me with this, with Gabriel Stirman. Mm. Ooh, we started that. So now I see Lawrence's way of working as a producer because he's produced Ringo, mm. you know, he's produced Victor Doni. Yes. Now I'm looking at him producing. Yeah. As he's at work and you're sitting yeah. here. Yeah. And you know what he does? He says, boys, uh. let's open this shit up, man. Yeah. Open the shit, open it, open it. <laughs> open it up. Yeah, 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 when you say open it up, it's yeah. like explore the harmony. Yeah, you know? make it colorful. Make colorful. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. we'll chill there, <laughs> you know, we go. Hey! Then that's um, uh, Ubuntu Bam. What are so, some of the songs there? I'm like, I'm saying, Teta Mata, Lego Zego say, San Kobolos, San Kobolos, Abu Zego say. Yes, 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 I remember. You know, yeah. and uh, on the Abule, Tito, oh. you know. Oh, Sipogas. Oh, Vula Mama. Vula Mama. Yeah, that record. Mm. That record for me was my school of learning with, on, 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 on Machiza. And because he wrote me in as a, as a, as a writer also. Yes. It's like, hey, write some music. You know, so we'll arrange some of the songs and then, you know, so that bug was already. Oh, man. You know, and then that's when I move. I'm like, OK, I'm going to produce now. So I've already arranged, written music. So I've been composing and arranging for other people. Then after that, I started branching. Like, OK, let me. Let me produce now. Let me go to producing. Yeah. Asanda Bam calls me. You know, it's like, hey, I want to, to meet you, you know? Lady who lives on your street. No, no, that's Putuma. That's Asan, Putuma, yeah, oh, Asan, yeah. Asan, Asanda Bam, you, Asanda Bam, oh, she's a, she was a dress celebration. She used to pack. Yes. Tansoma Zwai. Oh, There's yeah. a voice on Tansoma Zwai. Yeah. Uh, no, I know her. Yeah. Asan. She's, oh, you know, oh. Super. <laughs> beautiful singer. <laughs> yes. So Asanda yes. approaches like, 
Hey, I don't know, man, what I want to do, but I want to record. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yes. I'm like zipping on my son. I don't have songs. I only have this idea, you know? There's a song called Ndagusawa on her album. Okay. I said, okay, okay. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, you know what we can mm. do? We can start up, sit in, sit on the piano. And that producer loves sitting on the piano. Mm. You know, before we go to the and studio. Then just, yeah, let's, let's unleash. hear it. Let's hear it, you know? Because we don't want to find it in the machine. It's not there. Mm. It's us who's going to put it in the machine. In the machine. <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we work on it. We work on this. And then I went back to my Europe things, you know? It's, you know, I must look after the children, you know? Mm. <laughs> you know, go back. I, I'm like, hey, now, my love for this is. It's fading. It's fading now. I remember I was in France. Yes. I all of a sudden die. When I come back, let's get in. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get in. So, mm. 2008, 2009, I branched to producing. I'm like, okay, let's let me start. Let's this. do this. Let's go. And then I started with Asanda. Asanda. Pam. Asanda album, album Fragile. Oh man, that record. That record, I always say to people, if you want to know me, how I've been planning to do things, that record shows you. Visit that work. Visit, because there you see even how I was putting musicians together, mm. you know? There are, there's a song they called um, Monwabis. Mm. Is, is, is a Pegim Selegu song. Mm. From Home at Last. Oh yeah, from, I, from his album Home yeah, at Last, yeah. I love this song. Wow. So I said to Asanda, Asanda, how about we do a Pekim Selega song? Mm. You know, she's like, but it doesn't have lyrics. I'm like, we're gonna write lyrics yeah. to this. You know what she said to me? It's like, you know what, Leand? Do you know what Monobis is my father's name? Tatami Kamalaki Monobis. Did what? Did you chong again like a Malaya Mankung Monobis is Winston Mankung? Yes. You know? So we started putting this song together. Then, you know, program it, you know, play it, then we did this. And then I said, okay, now I said, let me go and get a piano player who love Begim Selek. And then I went and called Makatin, the Duzo Makatin. The Duzo, uh, So I moved my piano out, yes. put Makatin on, yeah. on the song. And he just went in. Went in, beautiful piece. Because, uh, I mean, naturally so, um, Ndutuzo learned under Begim oh, Selek in KZN he University, right? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So is that, uh, is that producer's ear where I'm able to, even if I can play it, I can move myself out. But you were willing to extract, exactly. um, you know, to bring in uh, Ndutuzo. You know, yeah. to sound purposes and, and, and because I'm heavy on South African music mm. that we really need to keep... Uh, Keep it together. Yeah. You know, the, the legacy of South Africa. Yes, yes, you know? yes. In the same record, I had people like Eric Pagliani. A guitarist. Yeah. Yes. He was doing guitars. Kun, I was producing it with Kunle Ayo. Kunle Ayo. We had Kale Machene there, mm. Sidney Mavunja, you know. Like Krim, Muso Koza is there. Muso Koza is there. Muso Koza is there. Right. Because I and used, I think he was just beginning at that exactly. stage as well, isn't it? I used to work with him with Pogas. Ah. So I'm like, hey. There's this song, Manbuso, is a prayer. Mm. I want you to sing with Asanda. And there's a guy from Nigeria, to uh, Ido. Mm -hmm. So I put like the other guy is singing Zulu, other one is singing Kosa, and the other one is singing in, 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 in Yoruba. In Yoruba, and, yeah. And we have this. You merge it. Yeah, yeah. That album, I was painting. Oof. You know? Because Asanda also, she was one of the, Asanda is one hip artist who's like, yeah, yeah, let's do this thing. I, I trust you. Yes. Let's go. You, you can know? execute, yeah. We can execute this, you know. And that, for me, even how it was set up in terms of how I wanted to approach it business-wise, you know, I'm like, gents, let's do this. Because information at FUBA. Mm. But you know, Nisi, uh, when you do these things in, in our industry, when you want to do it right, Yeah. It's wrong for our industry, <laughs> sometimes. Why, what do you mean? What do yeah, you mean? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, that statement is yeah, so yeah, yeah. loaded. Yeah, it's very loaded. It's very loaded. It, what it, do you mean? In our industry, when you do right, yeah. when, you do, when you do right things, it's tough. Mm. When you do wrong, mm. it's easy. 
Somehow. Somehow, mm. but it doesn't mean that we must um, uh, not do right. Not do right, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a tendency that artists, they don't know the business of music. What do you know about business? And then when you start to assert that side of, because I can't go to Fuba and be taught about this, and then when we apply these things, Practically, then, somehow practically, it doesn't work. Yeah, people, you, you know, yeah. you know, because you know the story of South African music. There's a lot of wrong business. Oh yeah, that has happened. Oh, too much. You know what I mean? So we are those kids who are trying to do it right? Mm. You know. And then I'm like, hey, this thing, it takes a lot. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> those are the lessons. I'm like, yo, it's a lot. It's a lot. I must go to radio. Put this music on right, I must do that. Yeah. It's me and Asanda, we're learning that time. But the lessons that I've learned are, are the reason I'm still standing. Oh, yeah. And here you are. Y you know what still I mean? Still standing. With all the hiccups. So from after Asanda, I produced a whole lot. I've produced Sepotsula after Asanda. There's an album with Sepotsula, I've produced it, Gospel. Mm. Even they we were called. Mm. They started the album, but it was not coming together. Ah. And they called me and Gaps. Right. We were called by having Kabin. He's like, eh, hey, gents. Ozan Majid. Ozan La, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I worked with Babu Tayab. Oh, beautiful. You know. Mm. He always called me my son. Eh, hey, yeah. hey, son. Yeah. You know. You know. You know. Babu Tayab was scared of going to the booth. You know, Why? Doesn't want to stay long there at the booth. Yeah. These are the things that, you know. Really? Yeah, yeah. When you produce people, when you say go and sing, the others, it's like, they want to sing. When they finish, they want to come they the side. To, yes. They don't want to stay there. They I'm don't like, want to be in that booth yeah, for too I'm long. Saying, I'm producing. Eh? Yeah. Shonada. Again. You know? So, Bramakoy, uh, I've produced. Of course, Makoy Mkhubat. Three albums of Bramakoy. Uh, in Moon Motel, what was the... Uh, Praskap. Praskap, yeah. yes, yes, Praskap. yes. Praskap. I yes. produced uh, the, uh, the, the first and the second and the th Oh, my goodness. One, two, and three. Praskap. No, two and three. Two and three. Two and three. Okay. We won those albums, we, 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 we you know... Award, really. Awards, yes. Summers yes. And, and Metro. Yes, yes, you yes. Know. Asanda was nominated. Yes. Judith Sipuma. Yes. I produced Judith Sipuma with Kunle. Mm. We won a, a, a metro there. Did you at some point work with Tandis? Mazwai? Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. My story with Tanzo Mazwai. Yes. Yeah, I've worked, I've done, I've done some gigs with, uh, I call it Dabao. Dabao, yeah. Dabs. Uh, 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 my father is a Mutuanin. Okay. Yes. So Tandis is. Ah. Uh, oh, yes, you know? of course. So, so when I call her, Dabao. Dabao. But I used to check her out with her band when she started out, you know, some of my, 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 my friends, about Sunny Boy. Sunny Boy, guitar. guitar lead, when they yes. started, you know, they used yeah. to, I used to go and check them when they work with Tandis. So, yes. You know, I was seeing this cute lady, me, I was like, hey. Yeah. Nice little girl, no? Slamman. You know? God, <laughs> Likas. <laughs> likas. <laughs> you know? I need to the Yeah. Band, you know? <laughs> so, but uh, later, oh, man, I got a call from the late C. Sasopaz. Uh, drama. Funk Daddy. May he so rest Oh, in peace. my goodness. Oh. Oh, what a drama. Oh. What a drama. So I got a call from uh, Funk Daddy. He's like, eh. Hey, Man, you can't do this kick at Tandis, so man, you know. Can you come and do this kick? Tandis, is this cheating or You know? <laughs> I, okay. yeah. I, I, I go to, to Mega. I got there. I, when I get there, hey, uh, with Chris Siren. Yes. I, there's no one here. I am waiting. I, I call these guys. Uh. Suicide, you know? I'm like, I go home, you know. Wow. I'm like, hi, these people are not here. Man. Yeah. Home. Hey, Chris Simon calls me after and I was like, oh, Luanda, mm. where are you? I'm like, no, I was there, but you guys are not there. You know? Really? He's like, oh, please, man, come back. You know? Mm. I would go. Man, that was my first time to, to I rehearsed with, with Tandiso. Yeah. Then we went out for 
we went out for dinner, you know, we're chilling at Sophia Town. Yes. In Newtown, yes. you know, chilling. A song of tennis mamas I love is called Ngoma, you know? It's mm. Ngoma. I love it. I love oh, that yeah, song. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful song. I love that song. Ngoma. You know? Ngoma Chayap Sukbong. Oh. And you're speaking about other things there, isn't it? Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So I I I I've worked, I think I've done maybe three gigs with her. Yes. But the energy of Transformers Y mm. it's what um, fascinates me. It's just something special. You know, when she goes on stage and uh, I've been blessed just to sit on the piano. I remember that gig when he did this song in mm. we went like ballad on it. Mm. Like an intro, she said, okay, just open it. I'll, yeah. I'll start, you know? Yes. And they just went a different direction yeah. to what you'd rehearse possibly. Exactly, because yeah. also they were accommodating me. Mm. We didn't have much time of rehearsal. Mm. And also, Tensor is very hip in terms of energy and you know, oh, very. Cr cr be creative. Yes. It's, it's not the piano player I play with yesterday. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And Cesar would guide me there with Spanish, you know? Oof. Then, pff. and most of the time for that matter, when I do those sessions of coming up for someone, I've played gigs where I didn't rehearse, like Judith gigs I used to play without rehearsal. Mm. You know, just look at the band, you know? <laughs> and just go in. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that's another, that's another skill. Yeah. You know? check and go on stage <laughs> it, it, you really need to be Oof. yeah they different dynamics uh, yeah. I, I mean uh, to this h3 or yeah. is it uh, h2 h3 h3 yeah is that your baby h3 no h3 is the is the is the, is the horn is the horn players yeah Olinda Skakane. three of them yeah uh, yeah senzo nobo um stepping mm. yeah it's Duduzo Makatin who puts them as age three. Together. Yeah. Right. We, with you, me. You used to play a lot with them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, when they, when they came to, to, to join us. Yes, yes. Yeah. What happened with me with age three is, is when I go to Durban, when they were still young, mm. <laughs> if not here in, 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 in Jose, you know, I used to meet Linda and Senzo and, and Stay, mm. you know. Hey, hey, Razo. Hey, Gunjana. Hey, it's good to see Luenda Moto because they, you know, like as 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 music schools mm. kids, they read the sleeve. They say, "Oh, you produced that album. Oh, yes. we love that album." You know what right. I mean? Right. So they will come to the gigs when. So we, you get afforded the respect. Exactly. That you deserve. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. So they used to read the sleeves, and and then we meet, and it so happened that Zamo Peng used to tell me about his nephew was mm. coming up on trumpet. Mm. But I've never met the kid. Mm. So every time I go to Europe with Nzamu, he's telling me, hey, do you want to send Gandhi is te. Te Bengu is, the out Nzamu has been telling me. Nzamu's dangerous. I mean, Nzamu played oh. a lot uh, <laughs> with uh, the late... Uh, uh, Dr. Jonas Kwang. Dr. Jonas Kwang, a mm. trombonist. Like, mm. you know, you'd see him there, hey, man, and you belted out that trumpet. <laughs> Yay! One of my... Amazing composer. Oh, Mzamo. Oh, amazing composer. Oh, mm. Mzamo, you must, you must rec, rec, record, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mzamo? Yeah, no, yeah. we are Kumble and not. Yeah. <laughs> so, H3, H3, and then we meet here in Job, the Orbit. Yes. The, the, the concept of the H3, the Orbit, when the Orbit opened up. Right. You know, I used to visit there, the Orbit. Was, oh, it was a beautiful space. Know, I was not... Uh, performing, just sit at the bar, yeah. have my coffee or whatever. Right, and just watch. Just watch. Yes. You know? But Emmerich had that, this one is, is a producer, is a musician, you know what I mean? Right. It engages me. Yeah. It's like, hey, you're always chilling there chilling at the there. bar, you know? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a music lover. Yeah. I go to shows, mm. sit there. At sit the there, absorb. Absorb. Then he keeps saying to me, hey man, you must come around Maybe you, you should do something mm. here at the Orbit, you know. And the bars of jazz that time in, in Johannesburg, live music. That was a big bars, man. You know, at it's, that time. it's you know, the guys were from Cape Town. Others they're here. It beautiful mm. talents from different provinces. 
So I'm chilling. That was like a revival. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So one day he comes to me. I'm chilling with the H3 guys. I've already worked with them. You know, do some corporate mm. gigs. I'll call them. Hey, come, let's do. Come through, guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then Emmerich says to me, hey, we need to host you. I'm like, what do I need to do? <laughs> because also I love, I, I love being different. Mm. I love being different. I love bring something different. Mm. Elevating, you know? Mm. So I went home. Emmerich says to me, hey, when are you going to come around? Yeah. I'm looking at uh, Linda. We've been talking about Linda instead. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm going to come with H3. Okay. I'm going to come with a concept. It's called Connecting Generations. Yes. Luanda Matope and H3. And H3. Connecting Generations. Oh, and that's how that whole concept. Yeah. And I think uh, out of the orbit, you, you, you did other kids. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And here's something that is, that's interesting. And then at some point, you, Skakane, as he comes out, you produce him as well. No, no. You I didn't, didn't produce him. I didn't produce I think it was Makatin. It's Makati, yeah. Makatin, yeah. 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 What, and then the concept of connecting generations, what we're doing, mm. we're reviving South African composers' oh, music. Oh, man. So, on, what a wonderful thing, yeah. connecting generations. Yeah. I get you. Yeah. I get you. So I did there on that Connecting Generations album, of, of which I'm going to reload it again online. I took it down oh, okay. for, for strategies and stuff. Okay. So we did fair Fako music there. So when Emerick says, come and produce the, uh, the show, I'm like, hey, now, the concept is there. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Then I go home. I find charts of Profeya. Oh, this mm. song, we were racing with Profeya. I'm like, oh, there's this song. Mm. I'm like, OK, this song, OK. Put this, put this song, put mm. that. Then that's how I put the program. Because I was looking. I did Zama job in the way I'm there. Oh. Because I was like, oh, people don't know about Zama now. You know, the beautiful music that Zama gave us with Eric. Yes. I'm like, okay, we're gonna do Nawayam. Yes. I arrange Nawayam on a trombone melody. Mm. We did Faya Fagu song. Yes. Uh, Gueru. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a song that dedicated to a place in Zimbabwe. Mm. Gueru. You know. Mm. And then we did Tansoma's Waingoma. Mm. On another. There I was interpreting the energy of Tandis. It's like a drum and bass thing. Just that hipness yeah, that the uh, hipness. She, she possesses. Exactly. Yes, yes. Just playing on the energy. We did um, a song by Sakile Simani. He's a trumpet player from M. Tanzan. Mm. His song dedicated to Zim mm. uh, We did um, We did this piece written by a bass player. It, it features uh, Titulu Zip on this. Oh, yes. You know, it's called a Nindi, Nindi, Nindi for Mothers. Okay. N Nindi is, is shocks, is shocks on bass. The bass player who plays with Tanso Mazwai. Yes. He's the guy who composed the song, me and him. Oh. It's a dedication to his mother. He's from Zim. Oh. So I ask him, so what's happening with the song? It's like, hey, man, I'm thinking about my mother. You know, I said, okay, because the idea about connecting generations is a celebration of composers, ah. you know, throughout the ages, the ages. Yes. Yeah. Mm, I get it. And then we had Zoe Mudicha there doing some poetry and also singing with us a song Kapra Makoy mm. written for Prakip. Okay. You know, we did Pra Makoy song. So, so the concept then was beautiful Ooh, elevation yeah it's, it's, it's beautiful and so every now and again when i do it now because connecting generation is a country that statement is a continuous statement yes i am a very progressive thinker mm. i don't want to stop so it could be another ensemble that you put together but still around the Co connecting generation, generation theme exactly right, right we have done that many times where yes when h3 is not around yes you will see sisonga county Luanda Kogwana, mm. you see Tami, you know, mm. but we always keep it, you know, mm. uh, uh, very, it's, it's, even sometimes we have, like the last time I, I had that concept, we had a Prince Lingwasa there. Mm. We called it Connecting Generation Revival. Oh. Those who have been, you're not doing it. 
Then we had a, a, a Prince Linguasa. Who knows these kids? Yeah. Or Linda, when they were young from Salvation Army. Yes. You know? Because what I've noticed as a, as a kid who grew up in church, I've realized that South African music also, the jazz, especially churches like Salvation Army, they've played a big role. Yeah, because that's where you get those instruments, the, the isn't it? Oh, that's the horn players, the reading, the what. So, so I'm that kid who, who I navigate that. Sometimes I'm like, we have to really, in our curriculum, mm. when we talk about our music, let's pull, let's pull here because some of these guys, they come ready in reading before they even go to these prominent music schools. Right. Because of the work. So they're already armed. Exactly. Mm, to a certain degree. People like uh, Prince Lenguasa has oh, yeah. been doing that. You know, you have the Sydney Mavunja, he's been guided, you know? Mm. So, and then the idea of connecting to is grows in me, and then I'm like, oh my goodness. Because even at home, I'm that kid. Yeah. I'm you know, because even when I say who I am, for me to say only, you know, one side mm. doesn't... Because you are made up of all it of It doesn't these, make justice. Yeah, parts of You know sides, what I mean? Yeah. So, and also learning the lineage essentially in J, you know, to oh, mom God is along, mom God. You know, I, I love that. It's mm. one thing. But I do, like, as a study, you know, keep quiet, and write, it's chill, you know, mm. when I'm, you know. Mm. You and need that. Yeah. You need that. You played us um, one, one song dedicated to one G. The other G yeah. dedication song you didn't play. <laughs> it, it, it stuck in the back of my mind, and I said, no, 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 no. He's got he's to gotta oh. let, let us in, into it. Okay. Yeah. This one, this is called. Yeah. Not as weep. Not as weep. Not as weep. Okay. And these are lessons that I've learned later because I've never called Umakulam yeah. Gekamalak. Not as weep. Yes. You know, I always call him Mamgwat. Mamgwat. You know? Okay. No world. No world. No <laughs> world. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what they, what would happen? Mom Kwati always says to me, Atais, he calls me Atais. Atais, yabona mna, mna mna funu utalu what? Ipi ano ibizu what? Umakulu. Oh what? Yeah, yeah, in her eyes, yeah. In her eyes, with piano Yeah. So I have written this song called "Lukalagam Nandu Wat Is Gamam Ooh, you know? that's the title of the song. <laughs> Record, you know, you know. Yeah, so. and then let's talk about the record. I mean, I mean, you've been touching on it, you know, yeah. um, uh, through, throughout our chat. I'm interested to know, you know, that, that this body of work now, and it comes at a time where you've been through so much and you've outlined, you know, the, the history. And it's almost like now you are back and it almost seems yeah. like this is a yeah. revival. Yeah. Spiritually, I think yeah. at this point you just elite. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my album, my, my album is coming. My album, yeah. My, my, my album is called An Ode to the Womb. An Ode to the Womb. Yeah. Yeah. What an interesting title. Yeah, yeah. Lam Nandi U Uhati, Lagamam Gwati. An Ode to the Womb is yeah. the album. Is the album. Right. Yeah. Initially, my album was supposed to be called An Ode to Azania. Okay. You know? But as, as, I gr as I grow in looping, I says, because I, I played him some stuff, he's like, ah, 
yo, this thing, Luanda, you know? Yes. I tell him, you know? But as I grow and, 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 and in the concept of the record, mm. I've realized, yo, oh, mama. Mm. <laughs> As something special. For me, as, as I knew it was good, but the womb, the womb. The womb. Because, because I, I begin to, my mother tells me stories about me uh, a lot. Yes. About my musicality. Yeah. Some of the songs that are on my record is my mother telling me, you know your preschool song was this, you love this song, mm. my preschool. My first teacher about music is the, Mampele. Okay. Mampele, when I was five, four or five. Okay. Mampele. It's a preschool where I used to go. <laughs> it's a much like, wow. <laughs> you know? Again, you see the womb also mm. right there, you know? The womb. So, um, the two grandmothers, the, the womb. two the two grandmothers, yes, as well. My mother, yes, the womb, the womb. You know, I'm a father now, yes, <laughs> the womb, the womb, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know. So, um, I call it th that because I'm very sensitive, you know, I can, I'm emotional, mm. kid, you know, and I think the womb kept me safe. For me to be here now, the yes. home. So it's, it, my album is more like a dedication to my mother. You right. Know? But I don't talk much about it, about but I talk it, yeah. about the other mothers who mothered her also. You know what I mean? You mm. know, because. So safe spaces for all. Sa exactly. Because the womb is also a safe space, isn't it? The water, I'm safe there. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hearing the sound there. Uh, she, when she sings, when she's happy, you know. Mm, the heartbeat, you the can heartbeat, hear the, in the womb. The connection, the connecting. That, oh, the connection, that's beautiful. You know, so I, I, I begin to realize everything that, it's more like my, my journey in life mm. is all about connecting. Do mm. you, you know what I mean? Because my connection with the home, like reversing, going back to my connection with the home now and, and, and understanding the sensitivity. And Nendlela, oh mama, they go through things to keep us alive. And in this day and age, Luanda, you know? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, in the most, yo, in the most terrible way. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So. If I talk about the home, maybe the guy was doing something wrong. Mm. Really needs to wake up and say, for you to be Wednesday to Zenzai at one point. Mm. At one point. Yeah. So wake up. You have a mother who gave birth to you. Exactly. You possibly have a sister. Ex you have cousins who are women Exa and exactly. things of such nature. Take that into cognizance. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Because I'm I'm standing here, I've got girls. My daughters. Yeah. So what a beautiful thing. Oh yeah. What a beautiful thing for me to know good. Oh, they were kept in the womb also. Mm. Mm. Do you know? Yeah. I was waiting. <laughs> yeah. To receive. <laughs> me, me, I was waiting. To receive. <laughs> you know, that's why I have to keep connecting with them because, mm. you know, their connection with their mother is different from mine. Yeah. So for me, is that search of connecting helps me to be always progressive. Mm. That's why I always say. Every day is better than the other day, man. Oh, man. You know? I'm That's looking good. forward to it. I mean, uh, definitely. But can you possibly just highlight, you know, you did earlier on who you featured, Ben, and things of such nature? Oh, okay. Hey. Hey. Okay, I have got uh, the, 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 the album of uh, An Ode to the Womb. Is, I do it under my other... Um, I always name my, my concepts yeah. with the bands. Yeah. So that one is LMQ. LMQ. LMQ and Ode to the Womb. Okay. So LMQ is Luanda Matop. Quartet. No, uh -uh. Quali quality. Quality. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I did it, we, pl we play like branding and all of this. Mm. Sometimes people think quartet can me, no. My two is quality. It's quality. You know, because the knowledge I've gained from Fuba School of Music and Abu Vukile and the womb and all of this is mm. the quality I am. Producing, present, I'm yeah. presenting now, mm. you know, and also because of, of I've been producing even my productions, you know, so it, it, there's a business way of doing it in, in the concept, but yes. 
but also that is linked to who I am, what makes me tick. Mm. It's about quality. That's why every time when I meet people, quality is what you're looking for. Exactly. In the conversation. In the conversation. You know how you can connect with this person. Exactly. It needs to be that quality. But, yeah. I like that. And then we st we stay. I like, like that. Like listen, me, you you you've been calling me. For, you know what I mean. <laughs> You, you, know? You, 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 you know our ebb and flow, you, you, you our know. tug of war. <laughs> you, 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 yeah, because for years I've watched you, and then when you call me for interviews, I'm like, yeah, I can't do it because yeah. I'm going through stuff, you know, I'm trying to, mm. I'm growing. And so be it, I always say to you. You know, but I'm, I'm, I'm growing. Like when you're ready. Yeah, yeah when you're ready. I'm, I'm like growing, and then I'm like, hey, hey, but I'm going to And also I'm producing, like, those times I finish about Zasha's album, about Dumza Maswana, or you know. Yeah. Sometimes you're like, hey, I need a rest. Yes, a little bit. Myself now, mm. you know, and say, okay, where I've been, you know, how much, how much I've covered, mm. you know what I mean? You tap in, what elevation? Yes. You know. Yes. So my record comes in a right time where I was like, mm. before the lockdown. I've already started. You had already started. Yeah. yeah. But uh, when I was quiet, I was learning radio. Uh, I went to do some. Yeah, Jazzwari FM. I went to yeah, do yeah, some. Yeah, radio I used to listen to you online. <laughs> it was a beautiful presentation. You know what I mean? You know? And I just love the content. It's a, it's a pity they shut it down, uh, that platform, because I think it did uh, so much for South African music. You know, um, especially around the jazz exactly. scene, isn't it? Because Bamuni, see, you know, we, we don't have, we don't have many of you. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. We don't have many of you, you know, who, 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 who've got the time, who've checked us through our journeys, yeah. you know, who are in these spaces a lot, you know? So when they called us, they said, hey, do you want to do a show? Like, mm. I was like, okay. R radio, I'm like, mm. uh, because they asked me there, hey, what do you want to do? After yeah. that, I said yes, and then I look, and it goes back. I called my show The Formation. The Formation. Because of my football and music. Ah. So I was taking my methodologies right. and put them together. Right. And construct the show. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. You, you, you know, but that... Wonderful. It has helped me, you know, because I listen to you when you talk. I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> From the, even, you know, I'm like, hey, these guys, they've got this thing, you know. Zyakumjiz. <laughs> Zyakumsha as well. And, and the information. Yeah, and, but and, it's just about the content and what you deliver. You know, and, 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 and it has helped me because, like you were saying, spiritually I've grown. Yeah. No, you have. In leaps and bounds. Because what you do, mm. I've learned that you really need to be fit mm. spiritually. Oh, yeah. And, you know, because we come with baggage. Oh, yeah, we do. You know? All sorts of baggage. We come with baggage. When I'm reading about, I'm going inter to interview so and so, I'm like, oh, my goodness. Then I don't know what the headspace is in that time. Yes. So that helped me, and my producing come oh, handy, man. and all of this. And then I was like, oh, okay. Beautiful. You know what I mean? Okay. Back to FUBA, the thing they said. Yes. There's so many avenues that you can do. And you had a good time doing that, right? Doing the radio thing. And yeah. you talked about Dooms. He's doing the radio thing now, and he's a musician that you've produced, Dooms <laughs> Maswana. It's the most amazing thing. Who is going to Oh, my goodness. <laughs> do you know? Oh, Dooms Maswana. Oh, oh he's, just something, he's just something else, right? Oh, what a, what a heart. Oh, yeah. What a heart. Beautiful soul. That guy. Yes. That guy. Mm. That guy followed me around. When I finished Asanda's album, he followed me around. He used to come to the gigs. I didn't know him. Sure. Sit and check me out. Check me out. When he came to me, yeah. he came straight to yeah. me. Knowing about yeah, yeah, yeah. what he was going to say to you. Tumza Maswan is like, yeah. hey man. I've, you know, I want you to work with me. Da da da. I'm like, Banu. Yeah, Dumza. Da 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 da. Bao. You know, mm. it's one of my favorite people. Oh yeah. That, like my mother is. That baritone. Even is like my father. Is like my mother's son. He always yeah. visits my mother more than me now oh, really? because he's in PE. Oh, that's wonderful. He visits my my mother. Your mom. What? Oh, what a heart. 
Beautiful. And he's doing so, amazing, you know, amazing. It must work. be lovely to just see his growth now and how he's growing, right? Even Zasha, mm. to, to, to talk about radio, yeah. she used to work for Metro. Yes, 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 yes. You know, yeah. producing for Metro. Yes. When I produce an album, mm. <laughs> I'm like, wow. You know, wow. so the, the diversifying, Hence, you know, sometimes when we... It's bigger than us, this thing, isn't it? Exactly. It's much larger than us, than we, we, we think, you know? It's really much larger. It's, it's scary these days. It's even, it's even scary these days because, mm. like, just sitting here with you, even our conversation before this, yeah. the things that we spoke about... <laughs> Yeah, I remember that evening. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the things that we spoke about, there is so much, you know. And, and I always say this, uh, Babumnis, this thing, when we do right mm. for the music and do right, there is not, Andy Leonard used to say, music owes us nothing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Someone, someone calls on my radio show now and then. His name is Jimmy. He says, uh, <clears throat> you didn't choose the radio. The radio chose you. And I'm thinking, what a statement. <laughs> and he says that every time he calls in on whatever topic we're discussing. So before he starts, he says that. Yeah. And I ask myself, this guy, you didn't choose the radio. The radio chose you. And I'm thinking, okay. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> how do you argue with that? <laughs> like me, if uh, knowing you from, the, I've, I've I've watched you all my years here in, in Johannesburg. Yeah. The whole twenty, I've, I've been here now for twenty four years. Oof, it's been a while. Half of my li age, mm. and more than half of my age for of that. Of course, you've been I've, here. I've, I've been here. You know, I've, I've watched you do do to do this, and we are here now. You know, it's good to be here at Sankofa. Oh, House of Sankofa. <laughs> house of Sankofa. This is the house. Yeah, I'm, yes. I'm, 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 really, I'm really happy. Yeah, Yamaha must come, must come to the house as well. Yamaha. <laughs> yeah, Yamaha must, 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 come, must come to the house. <laughs> yeah, they, oh. must, uh, they must come to the party. Yamaha. I'm talking yeah. about Yamaha as a, oh, as this a friend. One. Yeah. Oh, this one. They must come to the party. You must come to Sankofa. <laughs> <laughs> They must. Yeah. Leander, when can we expect uh, the album for Nin? Because uh, I, this year, definitely. Yeah. Uh, it must drop. Yeah. No, okay. no, no, it must drop. Okay. No, there's, there are so many beautiful things that are coming this year mm. uh, out of what I've been doing, you know. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to drop uh, some music okay. from uh, an old uh, to a, to the womb. To the womb. Yeah, I'm gonna drop. Um, because I wanna drop it on my mother's birthday. Okay. You know, 10th of October. Okay. You know, okay. Th that's one, my target. Brace yourselves. Yeah. Brace yourselves. <laughs> you know, and uh, also I just came back from Nigeria. Mm. I can't speak much about this yeah, one. But there's a certain project happening. Yeah, there's a very super, super something that is happening. Looking forward to it. You, you know, where, where people look at your life. Mm. The, someone I've met uh, 12 years ago, mm. 13 years ago, mm. he saw how I operate. Yes. Then when they were putting this together. He remembered you. It's like, hi, there's a kid there. You got to be part of this. There's a kid there in South Africa, you know. Wonderful. Um, so uh, maybe, you know, you know I, must, I should come with that band. And Sankofa. Why not? You sit, you sit with them, you know? That's why I'm saying. To. Um, because that's what Sankofa is about. Exactly. You know what? It, 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 it makes. It's about connecting, you know, the it, continent yeah. and, 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 uh, and retrieving that uh, lo yeah. knowledge, lost yeah. knowledge, yes. Yeah, so that, that is, 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 is something that blew my mind. Oh, that's beautiful. Because Nigerian people, my people, who, you love me, <laughs> you treat me like a king, who, <laughs> oh, they love me. Oh man! It, it was beautiful. my fourth time to go to Nigeria, but every time every I go time there, every time you go there, it's such a beautiful experience. You know, yeah. And also, uh, it's like uh, my prayers have been answered to a certain degree. There's still more things that you know I've prayed about. Mm. This one, 
because I was looking at it, Babo uh, 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 that we go to Europe, we, you know, we go to America, but to Africa, we, 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 we uh, you know, I said, for me, I wouldn't mind to be that kid who's gonna bring it, go West or North Africa and bring it down. Yeah. Because I can go to Europe, I've been, yeah. you know, yeah. but this one, and also the, the, the education of our music, yes. you know, because sometimes I, I feel like there is, there's a disservice. A uh, disconnect. You know, yeah. uh, to our African music mm. and, and how we do it in Africa, because it's oral. I was sitting, I was sitting here with uh, <laughs> Tlaile Maken, he had the Udu, mm. which is, uh, you know, an instrument uh, that is very prominent in Nigeria. Mm. And mm. he was telling us about the history of the Udu. Exactly. And then he goes and plays it to Exactly. Tlaile, and he plays it so well. <laughs> so, I mean, those are some of the connections we need to make. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, because we're not going to take away from the Western, you know. I play piano. It's a Western yes. instrument. Right. It's a Western instrument, you know. <laughs> When I say, I look like a cheese boy sometimes, you know? <laughs> they say, hey, Leander, oh, this thing. But even that, it's, it's, a, it's a different ball Ooh. game when I play yeah. in a closer context, yes. the idiom. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's always, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then we're able to explain because Okay, I'm gonna say this. <laughs> say it. The, 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 there's a project I'm working, I've started. <laughs> yeah. I am, it's gonna be a piano and voice. Me, my piano and voice. Okay. I'm singing, I'm, I'm fusing my grandfather's voice. Mm. I know their voices when they sing. Uh -huh. So I, I put them, my design, <laughs> I put their voice together. Through your voice. Yeah, so I am their voice. See, when I was saying that spiritually, I think you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I've started yeah, 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 that. You're quite you know? heightened now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm singing, yeah. I sing like, because my grandfather used to say, Dine do samzine. Dine do samzine. He's always singing. Yes. So I asked my mother, Ekle, Upra, by Ushayele, Dine do samzine. He don't know, Dine do samzine. Yes. You know? Yes. What you are, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Oh. But now, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, but unyana ke hlale cola ngale ngoma ngoma ka mamaki yes yabo that oh okay uma mqwathi ke ndi amazi you know you know your g my g you know you know oh your g oh man you know so so i mean that um, so those are the things that i'm going to be releasing oh, this year is 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 the womb and this uh, this project that i'm busy with the guys from In nigeria, nigeria. Yeah. yeah and other things is, is, is just concept that I've, I've, I do. Like I've started a new concept now called Global Sessions. Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, where I stay in, in, in Norwood. Mm. Because I go to this, there's a restaurant I normally chill there. Yes. It's called Pajataco. Yes. It's a Mexican restaurant. I'm always chilling there with the owner. You, you play there Sundays, no? Yeah. yeah. I'm, hey, I'm, I must come to a session. Please. Please, man. I so, must. so I- Do they serve good food? Oh, yes. Oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, you, no. You love it. Oh, is it? No, ah. no. You, you. We're gonna do the Father's Day. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Be because Wonderful. what happened? I used to go there for months. Mm. This guy never knew that I'm a pianist. Mm. You know, and the people where they go, I say, do you know this guy is a pianist? Yeah. I said, me, I'm coming here because I love mm. the, the mind of the, the chef. Mm. It's a very nice day. Good environment as Good well. Good environment. I, I meet different people. I've met amazing people there, mm. all over the world. Wonderful. So, and then I'm looking, I'm like, okay, as an artist, I sit with doctors, psychiatrists, da-da-da, lawyers, da-da-da. So what do I do here? Me, let me start this. So when they come, so we have conversa our conversations, they go. Because now people begin to understand the creative way of us, how we think as a creative. Do you play there by yourself or with your quartet? What? Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, you love you, to, you, you know, you're talking uh, conversation, so I'm just trying to piece yeah. this together. Now you're but gonna, what experience can I uh, you, look you forward love to now. there? The, the quartet that I use for that one is called Naz Is. Naz Is. Yeah, Naz Is. 
<laughs> You've got away with what? Hey, you should have been a poet, I think. Uh, somebody, Beautiful. somebody said you are, you yes, are a, you're a poet. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so it's me um, on, on piano, yeah. Luanda Kogan on trumpet. Yes. And push a little bit on on on, on percussion, percussion and and shock tender yes, on bass on bass. So Nazi is it's, it's it's a new it's, it's very exciting concept. I love that it. Nazi is. <laughs> yeah, because Hi, Leander. you know, most of us to Nazi is yeah, Nazi is Nazi is Nazi clever. Yeah, Nazi is is Klimba. Yeah, you know, Nazi is Kula is. Yeah, Nazi is Kula. <laughs> but yes. the Europeans they see the Nazi they. They're like, hey, they're, what, why are you saying Nazi? I'm like, no. You, you guys are thinking Nazi, me, I'm talking about Kosa here. Yeah, this is. Yeah. I'm, I talk, I'm talking Bantu here. Yeah, yeah Bantu I'm talking language. Bantu. I'm yeah. not talking. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not talking. <laughs> no. So, you know, I love playing those because it, it, it gives us a conversation. It's a conversation if, piece as well. Yeah. If somebody's like, Nazi, what do you mean? Mm. I'm German. Mm. Or I'm, you know, I'm like, no, no, I'm Kosa. This is what it means. Yes. So you could interpret in different ways, you know. Oh, beautiful. It, it gives us talking. I'm definitely coming through, Peko. Uh, I've got to experience Nazis. Yeah. yeah I've got to see is. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, Luyanda, wishing you all the best, yeah. Shagazi. This is the first of um, conversations that will uh, follow yes, on. Sir. I yes, think. Sir. Your trajectory and your growth has just been nothing but special in yes, my sir. eyes. Yes, sir. And I ask, Ba, when you cross my mind, <laughs> I, 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 I get yeah. in touch. Yeah. And sometimes I find you in moments where things are not, yeah. you know, but you're always yeah. brave enough to say, Ba, yeah. hey, at yeah. the moment, yeah. this is, uh, you know, the yeah, situation. Ish. Yeah, yeah. And, and, hey. and, yeah. And I appreciate that. And I always say, you know, all right, man, yeah. Michael, when, when you're good, yeah. Let's do what we've got to do. Yeah. You know? Because because I love that honesty. Be, because Babu um, Nisi, like like I say, I mm. even tell my friends, I tell people, me mm. when I'm not okay. Yeah. I'll tell I'm not okay. Oh, yeah. But I'm not gonna come mm. and be with you. And give me something that is just weak. You know, because I I know, I know I'm contagious. Yeah. My energy. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So when I go to people, it's part of work, it's part of Correct. healing, it's part of who I am. I don't want to be around people and then I'm dragging the energy. Mm. Hey, Loon John, I'm not, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, 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 that one, I don't compromise. Mm. When I'm not okay, I tell you. I'm not okay. Yeah, I'll tell my people though, there's, you know, people, hey, I'm not okay, I, I'm gonna chill. So that, you know. And that's the right thing to do. You know what mm. I mean? And, and, and here we are now and <laughs> your spirit is beautiful. <laughs> You're elevated. You're funding your glory, man, you know? Um, say, in all the right. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but it, yeah. it's, it's people like you, you know? Um, mm. And to be noticed, I'm, I'm going to say this. Mm. It, it, you know, um, some of us, we, we, affirmations are very important. Yeah. And, and, and being noticed. As much as I am confident in what I have, yeah. I am blessed with this. It's not a fluke. Mm. You know, it has sustained me all my life. All your life. But there's people when they, they affirm what you do. You know what I mean? Mm. And I think it's high time. It, 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 it's high time that as, as a creatives, this thing is instilled in us. That, hey, you're doing, hey, I see you. I see. Hey, you are doing good. Hey, keep, what do you need? Yeah. You know what I mean? That goes a long way. Come here. Hey, check this out. Mm. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, if you look at our history of how many people we have lost, just imagine if these people had, they had a place to, 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 to pour in. Yeah. You know, there's so many people we have lost mm. that never, amazing geniuses. Yeah. That some people never experienced them. Do you know how these people, the beauty these people were thinking, but they never, they didn't have a place to pour yeah. or, or to open up because it's, it's, it's not something that we, we cultivate. So I think moving forward, we, we, we're getting there now, but we need to cultivate sitting with one another mm -hmm. and say, okay, hey, there's a kid like this now. Mm -hmm. That's why I teach now. Right. You know, when I teach children, I, I spend time, I'm like, because they're different. You find that the artist, you see it in the early age. 
But if there's no one who understands how this kid thinks, yeah. he's going to always be frustrated. Yes. Frustrated, frustrated for years, for years, and then later. And we could have helped immediately. Yeah. You know? That's why when I talk about the global, because I talk with psychiatrists sometimes, people who are, you know, mm. who are able to articulate certain things. Mm. Me, I see a creative, I'm like, okay, this kid, mm. what do we need? What do we need there? Mm. You know, you know, like lately, I've been blessed to talk to, I don't know whether you know him, Babu uh, Eugene Skiff. Oh yeah, he's, uh, is he still in the country? He was here, he did a workshop or two, I think, at the oh, UJ, he's, uh, I think that's, um, oh, he's oh breathing. just a fountain of... Uh, oh, he's breathing, he's breathing some oh, life, yeah. you know what I mean? Just a fountain I told him, I said, hey, thank you for, for, what you're, for what you are bringing in us right now. Because we met once, yeah. and then, yeah, cool. You know what I mean. You, there's a lot of people. You know, I saw you at uh, Silo Khalala the other day. Yes. Do you know. <laughs> yes. That's. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I'm a I'm a student of of Kiba. Yeah, well, Kiba music. I uh, saw. So I didn't mention Kiba. Hey, Baba Doctor Khalan. He calls me Kleigo. He calls you Kleigo. Yeah. 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 That hot man. Yeah. When I finished the workshop with Pramakoy, Silo Khalana was waiting for me at Park Station. Mm. We're going to Northwest. That's Kiba. To go and play Kiba music. That's my beginning of Kiba. I played Kiba music. Yes. My daughter was born when I was in Kiba music. Yeah. Like Kiba. <laughs> it's something special. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a graduate of A lot of Kiba. people know Yana Pula. Yeah. Oh. Oh. But you know, Kiba has got uh, what? Uh, I think Kiba won <laughs> around 12 or 14 now. It's just albums. And you won't find them online, everybody. <laughs> but, uh, but there are volumes and volumes of Kiba music that have been produced by Dr. Silo Khalan, which is just something to behold. You Do you know? know? Yeah. But pay genius, yeah, genius but, but well. to people. Uh, but pay to people. I need to do a, 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 a tribute to but pay to people. Mm. Because those people embraced me. Yes. Judith, Salai, Losolota, Silo Khalan, Jeff Mapai, Mr. Khalan, Posho Khalan. There's also a gentleman called Ndate uh, Tlokwesihum. Yes. Yeah, he, he plays the music of the day before yesterday. <laughs> Do you know the music of the day before yesterday? No. My dog. The music of the day before, before yesterday. Sure. You will know it. Light and love, man, always. Uh, you, you talked about love a lot. Yeah. And that's what I think uh, leads us. Mm. I wish you all the best. Can't wait for the offerings uh, to, to drop. Yeah. Um, by God's grace, the womb yeah. will uh, drop on um, August, uh, October. October 10th. October 10th. O October 10th. Yes. My mother was born on 10th of October. So. Yeah. I think it makes sense. This oh my Sisborn. God. This yeah. No, see, I believe like Yulanda. I mean, uh, Luyanda. Yes, sir. Uh, may the light shine, man. Kukanye, kute tu bumiya makvelo kanye. Thank you, sir. See, I come up with your clothes for me. Ladies and gentlemen, House of Sankofa, Luyanda Madupe. <laughs>